It was a typical busy Saturday night in Coolangatta on Queensland's Gold Coast. 18-year-old Sam Ford was walking to a nightclub with his girlfriend. Sam was actually walking to the nightclub to meet me. It was his first time going out clubbing since he turned 18. Sam and his girlfriend heard a male voice from behind and he was yelling abuse towards him, trying to entice Sam to fight him. Sam was trying to avoid a fight at any cost. He was trying to protect his girlfriend. Sam was backing away from the incident, trying to text on his phone to his brother to tell him what was going on. Sam's girlfriend tried to shield Sam and was knocked to the ground. This man swung wildly at Sam. The punch was so forceful when Sam's head hit the ground, witnesses said it sounded like a log cracking opened. A crowd quickly gathered. These scenes were captured on a mobile phone. Several people rang triple zero. Sam's brother Ryland came got there after he received the text and uh, found Sam on the ground. I got on the phone, I was actually yelling a bit. Someone called an ambulance. I made a call myself. There's Sam's girlfriend screaming, people yelling, running everywhere. And all he could do was hold Sam in his lap while they waited for an ambulance to come. I just remember leaning over him and just holding the sides of his head gently and just continuously talking to him. You know, Sammy, can you hear me? I'm trying to get any response. I'm here. You know, blink your eyes, just let me know you can hear me. There's nothing. Still clearly intoxicated, the attacker returned to the scene of the crime and was confronted by Sam's friends. The attack had drunk 10 cans of bourbon and coke that night, obviously was heavily intoxicated when the attack happened. Sam was rushed to Tweed Heads Hospital in a critical condition with a fractured skull and massive brain damage. I could only look through the doors of the emergency and I could see he was obviously unconscious. He looked a mess. He looked... He looked dead. It was horrific. I had no idea that it was going to be as bad as what it was. He was covered in blood and vomit and his ears were bleeding. The doctors said Sam wouldn't make it through the night. They said he needed emergency surgery, that his um, skull would have to be opened to relieve the swelling. We were taken into a small room where we just had to sit and wait hope. Right. We had to sign a release to say that they wouldn't revive him if it got to a certain point because it was virtually pointless. That's probably the hardest thing I've ever done. 